These are exciting times at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Here at the UW-Madison Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine Center, we're enjoying unprecedented opportunities in stem cell research and regenerative medicine. We're very fortunate here to build on some extraordinary discoveries. Jamie Thompson, in 1998, made one of the landmark discoveries in the field when he first successfully isolated human embryonic stem cells. This has opened up whole new avenues of exciting biomedical research and potential therapeutic applications. We've seen the field grow tremendously in the last decade and a half, and much of the breakthroughs and additional research has taken place right here on this campus. Also, uh, Jamie Thompson and his team have made other landmark discoveries with the successful isolation of induced pluripotent stem cells from skin cells from uh, patients. These cells are another way to get all the cell types in the body for research and potentially for therapy. Here at the University of Wisconsin Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine Center, we bring together more than 80 different faculty members and labs from all across this big campus to work together to bring new advances, new understanding to stem cell biology. Our hopes and dreams are to bring these to new and revolutionary clinical applications. We're just at the beginning and there's much excitement and much to do yet. So here in the center we focus not only on the research and the cutting edge opportunities here, but bringing that research through to translational studies where we understand how to take the cells from various models of disease to actually get them into patients in clinical trials. We have pioneering clinical trials in a number of different areas from orthopedic applications to treating patients after a heart attack with stem cells. We also view it as a critical part of our mission to educate the next generation of leaders who will bring the promise of this stem cell therapy to its full application. We're fortunate to have some of the most advanced and largest graduate training programs with students getting their PhD degrees in a variety of disciplines, including in stem cell and regenerative medicine related research topics, who will bring some of these advances to the next stage and really apply the knowledge we're gaining now in ways that we can't even understand now. Ways that may involve cell therapies, that may in involve engineered organs, that may involve harnessing the body's own ability to regenerate new tissue. So we have uh, world-class facilities here that can uh, help us advance in many different ways from advanced microscopic facilities to look at the substructure of the smallest components of cells all the way up to advanced imaging technologies to track cells and tissues that have been transplanted into patients. We're fortunate to have a biomanufacturing facility that can generate these cells and tissue products in the highly controlled environment necessary for safe clinical applications. The University of Wisconsin also enjoys a world-class transplant program that has been a leader in solid organ transplantation and is poised to take regenerative medicine to the next level of transplant related therapies. The University of Wisconsin Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine Center fosters communication across this large and diverse campus in a number of ways. There are weekly campus stem cell lab meetings attended by up to a hundred students, faculty, and staff. In addition, we host visiting speakers from around the world. We have an annual Wisconsin Stem Cell Symposium that brings together outstanding researchers in the area of stem cell and regenerative medicine. In addition, the Stem Cell Center provides core facilities in a number of different areas to foster the research, providing opportunities that aren't available in individual labs, but collectively we can work together to advance the science.